All right, guys, how's it going? So another add-on video. <laughs> Surprise. And this is called Brush Manager for Blender 2.83. Now, just to give you a heads up, I'm actually using Blender 2.9 and it seems to be working perfectly fine. Now, this was released on July the 18th, so it's pretty damn fresh and it's a very good add-on, to be honest. Now, I'm going to put all the links in the description down below. Check out the Blender Artist thread. The developers took the time to make an installation video, they've got overviews of each and every single part, it's pretty well documented, and they also give you a link to additional Blender brushes, and this is what I was wanting to show to be honest. So we'll quickly jump into Blender, I'm already in the sculpting mode, and you can see here just above the brush settings, and this is pretty much the basic overview that you get. And the best way to describe it is, think of presets slash favourite brush types, and think of being able to categorise them and save them. And it's pretty much that. And the great thing is it also gives you additional icons. So maybe you don't like the native icons. You can actually add in your own icons. And if you actually come to preferences. I'll go to edit preferences. Let's look for the brush manager. There's a few tweaks we could do here. So we can specify a path for a library of brushes. We can also do a preview frame size. Apply custom icon to all the brushes. And maybe you don't like certain brushes, you can see here, there's a whole bunch. We can actually disable them as well, so I can take away something like the cloth. So next time that I bring it up, it's not there. And this is a great way to quickly refine the brushes. Maybe you only have a certain workflow where you only use the clay brush and the layer brush and the mask brush. And I generally find that with sculpting, you'll generally use the same tool over and over again. So this is a great little tool. And we have a whole bunch of options here. We can append to the list of favourites. So if we want to add a brush to the favourites, very easy. We can apply an icon if we want. So if you need a visual reference, excellent little tip. We can save to an active brush to a file. So maybe you create a whole bunch of brushes and you think, okay, let's save that to a Blender file and I can use that later down the line. So hopefully we start to see more Blender brushes getting kind of added to the pile. We can also do things like reset, delete all active brushes, and what we can do here is append from a file to the favourites. So this is a great way to essentially install the additional brushes. And they're called ZBrush Orb Pack. And all I do is here is take the orbbrush.blend file, I import it, and now check this out. I have a whole bunch of additional brushes. Perfecto! Now please check the Blender Artist thread. Please read through the documentation in his last couple of videos. People just went, oh, you can do that natively in Bender. No, you can't. Otherwise, I wouldn't cover it. <laughs> do me a favour, guys. Remember to support third-party developers. This is available for free or paid on Gumroad. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.